Hello, Facebook. Is this happening? I think this is happening. Maybe. Guys, it's Alex Lacamoire. Guys, it's Tommy. Kale? Kale? Is that how you pronounce it? That is how you pronounce it. Is anyone in the world? <laughs> I don't know. Is anyone in the world? There's no comments. I think it's just you and me, kid. Uh, Lynn Miranda will not be here. <laughs> <laughs> Internet, come back. Ah. Internet. Oh, hey. it's happening. Hello, Charlie Freeman. Hello, Dale Barnes. Oh, Hello, my gosh. Houghton. It's happening. It's, it's, they're here. Did they're you here. say, is Lynn stopping by or not? No, he's not. I'm sorry. Guys, Lynn is not stopping by. I just want to be very clear about that. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So we've got some questions coming in. Do we? Hi. Uh, yeah, Dale Barnes asks about the hardest scene to direct. Ooh, good one. Did I mention that anything that Lynn was in? Um, you know, the reality is uh, when you have really good material and you have good folks, it, you know, there are things that are challenging. I think one of the things we thought about a lot was coming out of Quiet Uptown mm. and that release into uh, Election of 1800. That was a moment that we really thought about a lot just in terms of the cadence of the show. So that was that was a challenge, but um, I, th I think we, we figured out a way to allow us to feel something really deeply and then come out of it and still recover and, and go on with the show. Word. I'll tell you about that, Dale. <laughs> oh my gosh. My God. Uh, this is Sydney Levine. Hi, Alex. Can you say hi to Sydney? Hi, Sydney. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm the one who did that picture of you holding the Hamilton Samba. Oh my God, the picture was amazing. Did you see the picture with the I thing? I did see the, the thing. thing with the thing with the thing. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sydney. Um, oh, you don't. I, I love Alex more, but thank you for saying so. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody, um, guys, thank you. Thanks for all the love, y'all. Oh my God! You know what? The people that love us without Lynn, I'm gonna say you, Lindsay. Really, my favorites. <laughs> I don't want to play favorites, but you are my favorite. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Lackamore. How about that one? Uh, Lindsay. Oh, okay, uh, Lindsay Strauss asks, "What's my favorite line from the show?" Uh, probably in "We Know." There's this is one long stretch that Lynn has. Uh, uh, as you can see, oh, what's it? The consistency. Consistency. Yeah, yeah. Like he like he just rhymes one word like a million times, and of course I can't even remember it. That shows you how check, favorite. Check it. Check it again and listen. listen, 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 listen. I can't even say it. But it's my favorite line. I love it. Trust me. Music director. <laughs> um, really accomplished. Uh, here's a question from Tom Packman. Hey Alex. Hey. Tom what are Batman. the other projects that you're working on right now? Ah. Wait a minute. This is a, this is a, no, that is not well, a uh, One of the shows I'm working on is uh, Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> oh, shout out. <laughs> it's uh, opening on Broadway in uh, December of this year. It's uh, got great music by Justin Paul and Ben's Pasek. Uh, ben Platt stars in it. Great book by Stephen Levinson, directed by Michael Greif. I'm really looking forward to that. So that's uh, something I'm working and on. And I saw it, and I think it's darn good. So what do you think about that? <laughs> hey. Um, all right. Scrolling, scrolling. Hmm. Does the, uh, this is Nancy. Nancy is asking if the cast has any sort of dance warm up per show, and it's an individual thing. There's no group collective warm up, but mm. the dancers are often on rollers an hour before the show, and in a lot of the principal, I mean, everyone sort of has their own routine. There's no one collected thing. Uh, I think Lynn one time. No, he didn't. No, not no. that's actually not true at all. <laughs> but you know, we have to mention the Saturday night dance parties. Those oh yes, that's a good. Yeah, yeah. Talk now, about that. On Saturday nights, traditionally between Act One and Act Two, Leslie would just put on some music out of the, his dressing room off a speaker, and then everybody would just kind of gather in the stairwell, just just start jamming out. So it's not a warm up per se, but it is a little party. And maybe it's a cool down. Yeah, might be. Okay. Next. I mean, who is going to give us a show, right? <laughs> I mean, just the two of us is doing this. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Experience. Oh, these are all very nice. Uh, okay. Linus Wyeth asks, any advice for wannabe theater directors? Tommy? Oh, yeah. Um, my advice is, is very simple. Make as much as you can. I think that the reality is theater can be made anywhere, and it can be in a parking lot, and it can be on a back porch, and it can be in a basement. As long as there's an audience, then it's theater. So make as many things as you can. Ten-minute plays, full-length, short musicals, full-length things. Get a group of people together and direct new work, find writers that you love, and then also give yourself a chance to do some classic text. But just make stuff, make stuff, make stuff, and then you find your voice. Yeah. And it's also great just to be in the room as well, just watching things be made, and you get like real inspiration from that, you learned what works for you, you, you learn to, yeah, it just experience above all. And if you can, hire Alex. <laughs> um, uh, Anna Leslie Sterling says, Alex, how did you get that beautiful piano sound on the cast album? It just sparkles. Wow. Well, I have to say, it's, uh, it's a keyboard sound. It's not really an acoustic piano. It is, uh, I believe we used, most of the piano sounds we use a Yamaha Avant Grand, which is, uh, it feels like an acoustic piano, but it has really good samples. And it was just mixed properly, so that it just sounds really good. So, yeah, that's the secret. And they also didn't let me play, which helped. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, Bethany, we're shouting out Carbon High School because you're doing Beauty and the Beast. What up? Be our guest. Be our guest. We can't clear that, Alex. Stop oh, sorry. Singing. Okay, I, I, great. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, this is these are all very nice things. <laughs> Donna King, tell us how you did the 3D scapula. Scapula. It's the first time I've heard. Thanks it. again, Donna. <laughs> so moving on, um, the question about da, 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 um, what's this is a question from Shay Presley. What's the biggest thing Lynn had to compromise on? Um, here's here's my thought about that. Nothing, obviously, because we're very <laughs> gifted. But I think the, the, the key is this. Making a musical is about collaboration. And, com and collaboration inherently is about making compromise. The key is how to make compromise and not feel compromised. And I think that one of the things that we all have inherently, you know, everyone in this building, uh, you know, obviously Andy, Alex, Lack, and I have worked together a lot in, in these incredible designers in this company, is that we trust each other and have faith that we're trying to make the other person in the room um, better to find something that we think we can make deeper or enhance it. So uh, the hope is if Lynn brings something in, if it's a scrap of a song, if it's a if it's an idea, if it's a title, that our job is to encourage him. So you should, you know, tweet at him. He's on Twitter sometimes. Maybe he can only answer the question. Is he? Um, he just joined. Oh. You guys, if you can, follow Lynn. <laughs> and Alex Lackamore. <laughs> Lackety -lack, at Lackety -lack. Um, oh my god, I cross promotion. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, Jack Bay. Yes, this is his real hair. <laughs> <laughs> let's, see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Abby Narvison wants to know favorite part of the show. Uh, I think my favorite part of the show is probably it's Quiet Uptown. I mean, I know it's a, it's a really sad moment, but I think that's about as perfect a song as Lynn has written. Um, I remember the first time he even uh, played it for us. There was just something about that moment that was just so magical, and, and the theme was just so moving. And it was one of those times that I remember, like, you know, he had written up until the point that Philip dies, and we all asked ourselves, oh my God, like, how do you get out of this moment? What comes next? And then came that song, which I thought was just like the perfect way to kind of just like reset and be able to just go on with the show and with the story. So I don't know, that's just something about that song really moves me. What about you? Um, I don't know that I, there are things that I find myself um, especially proud of, mostly because of the nature of how it came together and making nonstop. I remember mm. being in the room together yeah. and how the idea started to kind of pile on sure. and yeah. this idea of bringing all of these musical voices and these emotional threads yeah. to a head. Yeah. Uh, like the I, last 30 seconds of the song. Yeah. That was something that we really did collectively So together. I think the, the making of that in particular, I yeah. think I'm, I'm particularly fond of. Good call. Um, I like saying particular, particularly a <laughs> lot. Uh, let's see. G.J. Corbin asks, Tommy, as someone new to Broadway, I'm unclear about the exact role of a director, and what is your impact on the cast album, if any? Uh, the role of a director is to make sure that everybody's on the same page and telling the same story. You are responsible, f along with the producer, uh, for hiring the designers and the cast and finding the creative team, for developing the, the property or shepherding the idea and making sure that the writers have a, a safe place where they can work. Um, you are involved with every aspect of the design. You're working with the designers really early on to form the look of the show and make the world of the show. And then, you know, you're having many conversations with all of the departments. Alex is the head of his department. Uh, Andy Blankenbuehler and I obviously work really closely together to try to create as seamless uh, an, an effort as we can. Um, but mostly it's about making sure everyone knows what story they're telling and and how they want to tell it. Uh, and that, that's something that is really kind of the the, the top line for me. Yeah. And for the cast album, actually, oh. Tommy was more involved than most directors for, for cast albums, which was great. He was there for uh, every recording done by the principals. Uh, he was there to kind of give acting notes to make sure that the feel of what happens on stage was actually translated onto the record, which was fantastic. And big shout out to this guy who was on vacation in France listening to takes and giving notes via email when uh, he could have been relaxing. So that, that shows dedication. So it's really I'm not great at relaxing, guys. It was my first <laughs> vacation in a long time, and there was internet. So although I, um, I'm not on Facebook, I am aware that there's the internet. <laughs> okay, great. I'm going to scroll down. Can you use your hand? Because my arm is Absolutely, dude. Let's oh do this. Right. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, don't block that person. They seem great. <laughs> Ritual, Katarina, which, uh, Rituals backstage. Oh, uh, yeah. Katarina, yeah. will you talk about Katarina. Saturday Night on Broadway? Oh, my God, Saturday Night on Broadway. It's the best. So uh, when we were in In the Heights, just for whatever reason, Jason Bassett, our stage manager, uh, whenever he would uh, say, uh, this is five minutes, ladies and gentlemen, five minutes before the show, and it's Saturday Night on Broadway. And that's just what he would say. And then he one day said, you know, Lack, we need like a jingle. So then, oh, can I put the jingle? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay here we go. So he said, well, guys, this is a deep, this is like some inside baseball. And then all, out of nowhere, I said, uh, well, how about this? Saturday Night on Broadway. Wait. And then we didn't have an ending. The broadcast was on. Saturday Night on Broadway. Stay ready. 
until now, it then became this elaborate thing where now we like do skits leading up to that song, like kind of tributes to whoever has been happening. For example, when Muhammad Ali passed away recently, we played a clip of something he said. When uh, I think Beyonce's record dropped, we played like a little bit of Lemonade, all that stuff. But we always end with that jingle. So that's a, a fun ritual. Um, all right. Ooh. Hey, 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 oh, hey, hey, oh, 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 who's holding it now? Here in my hand. <laughs> Magic. Very confusing. Um, here's a question from David Murphy about the international response to Hamilton. Ooh. Will the same beats land uh, and will the interest level be the same? Great question. We shall see. Uh, you know, one of the things that we've been very fortunate about is that uh, the show, because of the album, is out in the world and can be uh, consumed and and there can be contact with with so much of the the feel of the show mm -hmm. and the book we think is the other thing that we yeah. tried to put out there that allows people to feel a connection to it so the response of um of uh, you know of, you know to those things from folks outside of, of this country has been very strong and, and my hope is if they get a chance to see the show they would feel the same way yeah yeah and i also just think the story of hamilton is just so fascinating no matter where you're from like the story of someone who went from nothing went to great heights and, and had like you know a, a little bit of a fall after that i think there's just something very universal so our hope is that it'll appeal to anyone anywhere Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, James Edward Dauphin asks, a moment in the show that hits close to your heart and home each night. I kind of talked about You talked about it. Then, then, uh, all right, thanks for the question. See quiet up down. See quiet <laughs> Let's see. Uh, three more minutes, guys. We're going to go to the 15-minute call. <laughs> if you were to... This is from... Baylul Tesfum. If you were to bring Hamilton anywhere in the world, which city or country would you want to bring it to? P.S. Please bring it to Australia. <laughs> we would like to bring it everywhere. <laughs> of course. And Australia, please. <laughs> what advice would you give to, this is from Ivy Kiefer, to my nine-year-old that wants to get into theater and star on Broadway? Oh, my God. I would say the, the, the thing that's really important to, for folks to, I think, start to be conscious of is that Broadway is just a place. Broadway is a place where theater happens. And this there are certain... 15-minute call? 15 minutes? 15 minutes, guys. We're coming down the band! <laughs> Good thing I don't have to do anything. Um, <laughs> I do. And, uh, and I think that one thing to remember is that Broadway is a group of theaters in New York City that have a certain amount of seats. But theater is theater. So participating in theater, whether you end up making theater professionally or otherwise, I think teaches a, a lot of stuff that we can take with us. There's a lot of those notions of, of teamwork and, and collaboration and camaraderie and spirit and trying to figure out how to fit your energy into a, a larger group and be part of a community. Those are the things that I think really carry on. Yeah. And for me, it's just about just keeping at it. Like if it's something that they love to do, just like don't stop. Take the lessons, take the classes, just get experience, keep doing it. And if it fills your heart, then you just have to chase that. So yeah. should, should we end with this question from Egypt? Yes, let's do that. Okay. Um, Faraz Sadek, hello from Egypt. Hello. To you. If you both could play characters in Hamilton, oh, who would you play? Wow, I, I'd want to play Hamilton. I just. What about you? Um, I Wait. Just, oh wow! No, no. Oh, I was gonna yeah. say if I could try to guess who you want to play. I mean, the oh. world is waiting. Oh no! You, you want to be King George? Am I and right? uh, no. um, <laughs> I would love to do Satisfied. So uh, um, that I feel like um, Jefferson seems like that would be enjoyable. You would be good. Now we have to now imagine if we can that I had talent and skill, and that any of these things are possible. <laughs> but if you can, if you can imagine it, imagine it. But only just to wear the costume, probably. <laughs> Um, Amazing. All right, we good? Cool. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you for, thank you so much. for hanging out. Guys, this is Alex Lackman. Guys, time to kill. Let's get out of here. <laughs>